peace in. I want to do a live video. So I want to say that, you know, it does say in the Bible, honor your father and your mother. But I seriously have to say this, really. Uh, so, growing up, my stepdad, he's like the evil stepfather of the family. Uh, to me and my brother. The evil stepfather. <laughs> the evil stepfather. And, um... Basically, what he did was he would not take a shower, like, every day. Like, he never took a shower. Like, never. Like, never, not one time. We hardly ever see him bait, uh, groom himself or have clean clothes on or even clean teeth or anything at all. Like, he barely cleaned his body at all. I'm like, what the heck is going on? And he always wore his underwear throughout the house, kind of like what uh, Jojo and Veronica do. They wear their underwear around the house, but James Serrano really tops the cake because he like wore his underwear around the house like so many times without cleaning his underwear. Seriously, without cleaning underwear, with no clean underwear. I believe he had the same toothbrush for like so many years it's like completely gross. Completely gross. I wouldn't be surprised if he had COVID with cancer on his um, private parts. Because he was so sexually promiscuous that he didn't actually learn about sexual transmitted diseases. And actually also HIV AIDS. He, he had an affair with so many women. I, think, I, I would say about 100 women in about... 30, 40 years, him and my mom have been married. <clears throat> a hundred affairs, uh, sexual affairs, on uh, my mom, uh, since they've been married for 40 years, over 40 years. So with that, um, I wouldn't be surprised if he has a sexual transmitted disease or HIV AIDS, he should, should be probably be tested. No wonder why he has um, cancer down there. I'm not surprised. He's totally gross. He's disgusting. He's just completely gross. He's evil. He was evil stepfather of the two of us. And he would beat down on people uh, to get them to act the right way towards them. And he was the most evil stepfather ever. He always acted like he did not speak English. He always acted like he um, knew everything. Uh, and then also, he really didn't even hardly speak the English language. He didn't go to school to learn. He didn't go to school to learn. And then also, he like um, totally discriminated against me and my brother because we weren't his real children. So we like said, why are you, why are you drinking alcohol, coming home and drunk? And beating up my mom. Why are you coming home drunk? Uh, beating up my mom. And then who knows what goes on when his kids are at school. When he comes home drunk. Yeah. What goes on? Behind closed doors. Porno magazines. Porno sex acts with my mom. And who knows what sexual transmitted disease my mom has. She should seriously be tested for HIV AIDS. Those are the hard issues we have to face today. Those are seriously the hard issues we have to face today. HIV AIDS. So with that, they should both be tested for HIV AIDS. And so should Paul and was not. Especially if um, Paul and was not and Shelly Sherman wants to claim they were a couple and had sex. You know how many sexual partners Shelly Sherman has had? More so than James Serrano. <laughs> because Shelly Sherman never worked. She never worked. Never worked. Not one time. They want to claim that, but I proclaim it's not true. Because I saw the DNA results. <clears throat> yeah, the DNA results of um, 
their so-called Shelly Sherman trying to fight and act like she wasn't with, I would say about 500 partners <laughs> since I was a little girl. 500 partners since I was a little girl. But Shelly Sherman's been with 500 partners, sexual encounters, uh, ever since I was a little girl. I was since nine years old. <laughs> yep. So the DNA results show that Paul Anthony Winston Hunt is not the father. I, 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 do I have to be Maury Povich? Mm. The blood test results say Paul Anthony Winston Hunt is not the father of three children who Shelly Sherman doesn't know who the father is. I'd hate to fight for him like that, but I don't like him. <clears throat> Also, he should seriously be tested because having sex with my mom. Because <clears throat> of cash. Of COVID. Back in the lockdown in 2020. That lockdown drew everyone in the whole community crazy. People were doing in, in lockdown. People were so crazy uh, in lockdown of 2020. That's when they like... um. We're doing sexual acts amongst each other. It was gross. It was gross. I said one thing in the year 2020 and 2021 and 2022. Remain celibate forever to live. Remain celibate forever to live. Because you don't know who has sexually transmitted diseases or HIV AIDS. So I now require... If I'm to be with a partner ever in my life, I require a medical record where it shows they've been tested. Yeah, it shows that they've been tested. That's what I require. Because no way am I going to desecrate my body by having a sexual transmitted diseases and having an encounter with someone and then giving me a sexually transmitted disease. No way. Not especially when I, I survived like rape as a child and uh, human trafficking as a child through crawl in your nation. So yeah, especially when I survived. So I now require medical records if someone wants to be a partner with me. That's what I require. I give my medical records because I'm tested a lot over at health department since I've been in my relationship with Paul Anthony Wazant. I'm clean. I have no sexual transmitted disease. I don't have no HIV AIDS. I have no disease. But if you're going to be encountering and ignore health class, <laughs> ignoring health class, <laughs> ignoring health class, Oh my gosh, just what so many people do these days. They ignore health class. They seriously ignore health class. Really. Why would you ignore health class? Pay attention. Listen up. Listen up. I did. I paid attention very well growing up. I was super quiet. I looked. I paid attention. I like listened a lot. To what the teacher said. I listen a lot. <laughs> I listen a lot. Um, I got good grades. <laughs> I graduated high school. <laughs> because why? I paid attention. <laughs> Basically I used my money. And put it to the teacher. So that he could eat. And survive and live. So he could teach me. And he paid me too, so that I could pay attention. <laughs> but anyways, pay attention. <laughs> pay attention. Don't eavesdrop in other people's conversations. Don't eavesdrop in other people's lives. Act like you know it all by the power of eavesdropping. <laughs> the power of eavesdropping. How about that one? How about that one, YouTube and Facebook? <laughs> when they know nothing about their lives. 
really the power of eavesdropping. So how about we uh, dismantle the power of eavesdropping because it's, it's, it's already dismantled. <laughs> So, I will talk to you later, Facebook and YouTube, because I have to seriously be careful and seriously um, be cautious. Eavesdropping. Remember? Eavesdropping. <laughs>